Alright, so today on the wonderful and lovely Cameron Destruct channel, I want to get my video capture up here. So, the music that you guys are hearing is for a game called Crystal's Planet, a game that I myself have been working on. This game is relatively is relatively an RPG that revolves around the basic assets for RPG Maker MV. This is the only game that I am basing off RPG Maker based off the basic assets. There's a reason for it because this planet is generic. The planet is basically they don't care for what things look like. They just like this is based off of you know certain things. Now, just this planet, we will be showing you a little bit of gameplay today. So, this is not going to be a full fledged on full game. Okay? I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'm just going to show you enough to get in, just into the game. So, the company I have chose for this is similar to my YouTube name, except a small little thing. So, let's get into the game. And I'm going to hit, um, I didn't mean to hit F4, but oh well, whatever. Okay. There's a little warning sign that we get within our game. There is Game and Jesus Rocks Projections Presents. Okay. Restless Planet. Now. Now there is a help slash icon list for things like you might need to recognize something there. However, the website is still under construction um, because I'm still in the process of letting people test out the game. If you want to test out the game, you will have to get in contact with me through the email down there because um, I have some set guidelines that you're not allowed to do. So. What we have here is our options menu. Allows us to con go keyboard config our settings to the basic game of our main config. So you, so when we go in to start the game, it'll show you a little bit some different things. All right, so let's get down here into closing out of that. Okay, our loading, loading game. Now there is allowing you up to save. up to 50 files, but I've never managed throughout my game time of playtesting it myself, I've never managed to get above 13 files. So it's, it's there if you need it. Okay. But it's roughly, it's, if you don't use all 50, that's fine. You can use it to start another game, right? You can use 25 for one game one and use the ex, the other 25 game two. That's all how we do it. So, but let's get let's get out of here okay let's go with a new game now this is the part that does not have a thing and I'm thinking about using something in here but this is the only music that I don't have for in the base game at, for the game right now everything else has a music so in a world far away as our heroes start their journey some things, I may have spellings incorrectly. Um, I will be going through and fixing a lot of those spelling errors before release. But as this is just a beta, this is like, really like a beta right now. It's basically out of alpha, it's in beta, it's just going through some final touches. As our heroes start their journey to fix the crystals, they need to learn first. Or should I say, you the player, but you can skip it. You can choose to skip this, but I'm not going to based on the fact that I will show you what you what will happen if you skip, but I'll also go through and play just through here at the start of it. Would you like to play the tutorial? Okay. You can say yes or no, but I'm going to say yes just because we're going through it. To show you guys everything that you can do. Now, you can play this with a keyboard. Or you can play this with a controller, an Xbox controller. On a keyboard, arrows, keys, move, X brings up your menu, count, or cancels an action. 
enter slash seek interact with an object, shift makes you run. You can change this in the options. On an Xbox controller, D-pad moves, Y opens menu, Y opens menu, X makes you run, B cancels an action, A interacts with an object, you can't change, you can't change this, you can't open the menu during the tutorial. Okay, that's the thing, is you can't open it up during the tutorial for previous reasons. In most RPGs, you have a menu. In the menu, you can change equipment under equipment or use items. In this game, items are medicine. You can check the stats to see every one's stats in the stats menu. Also, in the stats menu, you can see what icon enemies you can inflict in the game. I will open the menu and let you see. Okay? So, in the menu, you will have your main medicine. Okay? Now, Now, typically, typically, this is where you'll find all your main weapons, your key items, okay? Key items. Note, note that in a, your medicine is, is like items. These are key items. I made it differentiate between normal, you know, RPGs. Your skills, when you look at the menu, did you notice that you have six members, unlike Final Fantasy 1? Ah. There's a key difference in this game compared to other Final Fantasy games or other RPGs. In this, you will have six players throughout the entire game. Okay? The game is unique in that regard that no formation changes or rows to speak of. No formations, no rows. Okay? That's going to end this tutorial. Now, I want to click on this again. Because I also want to go through the menu. Okay. Now, in your skills section, you will have pay. Everybody should have healed one except for your guard. Oh, I wonder why mid doesn't have it. There's there might be a bug. Oh, mid. There's bug in here. Unless mid learns heal at a certain at a little later stage, but we need to I need to double check on that. Mid and frill don't learn that, but I need to double check it to make sure. So that's your, your equipment. Uh, this is the thing I wanted to show you guys in the typical status page. So. Now, in this game, this is where you're going to be your experience and stuff and everything that you have. Here are your states. Now, everything in here is going to focus on the things that you can inflict in the game. Or things that can happen. So, knockout, you guys kind of know what knockout is. It's basically KO or whatever. It's like when you die. Okay? Your guard. You have your guard and your immortal. Those two things are not things that you can inflict. Okay? Guard you can inflict. It's like a guard, but in this game, if you remember Legend of Dragoon, your guarding is going to be allowing you to gain a little extra XP, but it might not be very useful. Okay? I haven't found a way to be very useful anyway, but it's still there if you need it. Okay? Poison... You guys kind of get what poison is. It's basically inflicting, you know, poison that's going to hit you every so often. Blind, you can't, it's going to, maybe you're going to have a lot of chance of missing in blind. Silent, you can't use magic. Rage is basically, um, thinking of Final Fantasy, it's like Berserk. Okay? Confusion, um, basically you can become confused and you may end up hitting your own players. You may hitting up your own party or the enemy, or the enemies. Um, vaccination, I really haven't used it very, it really hardly comes into play in the game. So, I, it's there, but it's really hard for it to come into play. Sleep, you know what sleep does. Okay, some of these other things over here, in the right hand side of things, is you have sap. 
in this game, this is this is a thing that is basically is like you lose sap at a like poison. Sap is like poison, but your fire rate is increased of increasing damage and getting killed a lot quicker with fire. Your stone is basically you're standing there being frozen in stone. Your burning stone is like your sap, but with the ability of stone together. HP regen is going to heal your HP. Your MP regen is going to heal your MP. Your MP and HP will heal both. Um, I rarely ever get to that height. Um, I rarely, during playtesting, I rarely ever got to around to level like 50. But I also haven't playtested the very last part of the game. Game I have, but I haven't really, really seen any. I haven't really got higher than like level 20, level 30. So, intoxication. This is something that you will find a lot within this game. Intoxication allows you to say you have, basically, it's like blind, but it's with a certain item within the game. You guys can figure that item out within the game, but it's there. Special lock is basically like silence, but it locks your special. So if you see this and this symbol together, you know that there's a special lock has been locked. And then self-rage, but self-rage are really... It just allows you to self-rage on yourself. So, and then your attributes. Um, you guys can see all this in this wonderful, lovely thing. And then we're going to cancel out because we don't need to show you that. I just showed you the options menu. Now let's take a look at equipment. Over here is going to show you some attack, defense, M, and defense ability and luck. However, some of these weapons, like a... Um, some of these weapons may include HP inside some of this. So please do be careful that some of these items do not show up over here for HP, but it will show up out in the status menu. We're not going to exit the game. Okay. Now let's go over here and let's take a look at our um, fighting style. Okay. Yes. Are you ready to fight? Yes. This is the... This is a battle screen. Do you, do you all know how to play the ATV system for Final Fantasy VII? I do know how to play that, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to say no. Okay, I see. We don't know the system very well. In this system, players must wait for their own turn gauge below to make an action just like FF7. However, in this game, enemies will also have the same gauge below them as well. Unlike the seven, do you want to take a look at how items work? Okay. Okay then. When some, when some has, when someone has fallen in battle, a KO revive can get them back on their feet. Why don't you give it a, give this a try? As you can see, mid got hit, but as you can see, a KO revive will be able to do wonders for you. Okay? You cannot exit the tutorial battle, but if anybody does happen to die, everybody will revive anyway. So if you wanted to see how KO revive, you will not be able to keep the KO revive, I don't think. It's been a while since I've actually played the tutorial though. Because I always skip it because I know already know how the game works. Okay. Now you're supposed to just continue to keep attacking until the four turns. Nice, that's the end of the tutorial. Plus, all players are recovered. Okay. The door is unlocked. Wow, I do need to fix some spelling errors, don't I? Okay. So now over here. Okay, a chest can give you nice stuff just by interacting with it. Go ahead and give it a try. 
Okay? So chests in this game are going to roughly look a lot like that. It may also roughly kind of maybe be a little different color based on where you're at. But you get a wooden shield. So you do get nice things. Sometimes you will re receive medicine, weapons, armor, in other places too. You just have to look. Now equip that shield you just got. Okay, so that's going to open up the menu again. Now, as you can see... As you can see, you get a one shield. Now, the only players that can equip a shield are going to be Rifa. Um, and Sid. Sid and Reef are the only ones that can equip equip the shield. I maybe, yeah. I don't think, yeah. I'm just making sure because sometimes I haven't played this in like a while. A while because I'm. Oh, uh, let me see here. Hold on. Uh, okay, yeah. So I'm gonna equip it over here with Reef. Okay. Now I'm gonna let you guys know. That there is secrets within this game that I'm not with secrets in the very first game, but I'm not going to sh share it with you. You guys will just have to figure it out yourself. There is no secrets within the tutorial, of course. Step on the left square and press the button to start playing. And go say hi to Phil's mom or granddad in Kern. Huh? Alright, so now this is where we will be able to start playing the game. Now, if you guys ever remember, remember Final Fantasy twelve, I've took a little liberty of combining some of the gameplay mechanics into Final Fantasy from the Final Fantasy games. Within this game, you can actually go to a save crystal, and you can now officially save and recover through save crystals. You will, no you will no longer have inns in this game. There's only two times where there will be an inn. But that's just because there's... It's just because of how much magic is being used within that area. And that's the only reason why that there's hardly any safe crystals there. And that's why there's an inn. Okay? Um, some special... Like, you can find them in all towns and some special places. I also can heal the part. Heal the part... T. Now, would you like to save? Yes. Okay. Now, I'm not going to save just for the sake of this tutorial because I have so many saves already. Um, now, you can talk. Now, as you can see, you can see from over there, that's just because it is part of that line of sight. Hey, how have you been, refund file? Okay. It has been good. Say, Mom, have you heard about this Earth Crystal that we need to save? I have heard about this Earth Crystal. I remember when I was young, trying to save the Earth Crystal and so many others. You never told Phil and I you saved the crystals before. I have saved them when I was your age. But this is a story for later. Right now, you need to go save the crystal, Earth Crystal. I believe Sid Mid and Paige's granddad has more info on where the Earth Crystal is. I also kept the money from your mom failed. It is in the chest downstairs. I see. I will make sure to go and get it. By the way, mom, you keep forgetting me all the time. I'm sorry about that. That's no problem. We have so many in the house right now. I don't even care. Now go save the earth crystal, my young ones. Okay. So downstairs, there's this, this chest here. Now this is a chest that is well easily known because it is told. So that's not a secret, but as you guys can see, in the first area, there is no roughly, there is no pot there is no potency, or I should say there is no inn in this game. You will hardly find, there's only two instances where there's an inn, but that's just because it's part of the part of the whole thing. We have the goods to keep you alive. Want anything? Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, you might want to stock up on a lot of potions 
here and now. Okay? I'm gonna buy five of them. Okay? Well, if you need anything, just let me know. Also, check my hubby store. He's got the best weapons and armor in this snowy region. There is a lot of spelling errors, but I will have to fix. If you've mentioned, if you find anything during the tutorial that I haven't fixed yet, please let me know. But the gram, but in this game, please also note that if there is a question mark or a period after something, I need to remove those and fix that. There's it's part of the language here in this game. So now this is um hey Sid made me for fail thrill and paid. I have something to tell you. What is it, Granddad? Yeah, what is it? I want to know what it is. I want to know what it is, too. I have heard that the crystals need saving from this dude that used to be Fail's father, but I, I just can't remember his name. Wait, what? I thought my dad died. I knew he was... I knew he was alive. He had left you when you were a baby. Your mom had died shortly after, and Rifa's and Fail's mom has been taking care of you. But I can't go into more detail about it because I can't remember every detail at my age. Before I forget, my son, the shopkeeper told me to tell you that your father came to get supplies and a drink. He told him that he was heading to Mount Pass. He was here while you guys were training. He left for Mount Pass a few minutes ago. Maybe he's after the Earth Crystal? Well, thanks for the info. We best be off to save the crystal. Well, be safe. If he breaks the crystal, bring him. Be the shard, so I can see if I can restore it. We will do, Granddad. Okay. So let's go to now. So that's kind of generally, you can also go down here and check if you need anything. Are you shopping in the city? Yes. Great, we do have some nice armor and weapons. So now you, here you can buy a lot of your wooden stuff and also your copper stuff. And a few extra little knickknacks here as well. Okay. You may choose to buy by potions, by 250 potions, or buy some extra stuff from the shop. Now, in this game, you can leave throughout here, okay? But you but you come back in that way. You can also leave up here through this side over here. Now, within the snowy area of the game, okay, in this first region, you have these two. This one will show you snowy ice caps of like spirits. Okay? There's the premise of that there. Also, over here in this little X section, only very, very small within this game will you see snow rats. Down here, you'll see a lot of hornets and a lot of wind spirits, a lot of um, hardened hornets as well. But only hard hornets are only in the forested area. So I want to show you guys what it looks like when we get into a battle. Okay. And show you guys what happens after the after victory aftermath. Now, block. Bale has something called block. This is something better than what guard does. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what block Black is actually does a lot more healing than typical than typical fashion of a guard. Okay, each each and every class, each and every person has a different class. Class. Bale is going to be your fighter. Paige is your wizard. Okay, is your wizard slash witch. Refish your knight. Um, Frill is a guard. Mid is your archer. In this case, he's a ranger. Sid is your uh, warrior. Come on. It does take you a little bit of time. To kill off a lot of these monsters in the game. I want that way to be a little bit of a challenge for you guys. But a lot of these times, these guys will not deal out so much damage out in the play. Now, it might have had some problems. If you find that 
a monster is not attacking at all and you're at like level one, that might be that they just have that chance of that the spell might be missed. Now, that's where you'll gain your XP and stuff. You gain 30 pennies or 15 from them. If you level up, okay, for example, I want to get to leveling up, so I'm Now, a lot of this core pork, a lot of this programming is from RPG Maker MV and assets as well. A lot of the character models are also going to be used that way too. But a lot of the music is not RPG Maker MV specific. It specifically run for MV, but it's not. Okay, my second game is different. In that regards. regards. I am working on the second game. This is going to be released sometime in roughly later this year. I, it's, it's pretty easy for me to actually pump out a couple games. This one I was going to have initially originally released in December of last year. But I do need to fix some things because it's like... It's like it's supposed to be full screen and I didn't mean to do it full screen, but we'll kill, we'll kill this one off, okay? Um, the premise of this story, you guys will have to figure that out throughout the game, throughout the gameplay. The second game, uh, won't have this available to you. It will be available. The second game will have is followed up by this game. Okay. Now, the game I'm planning on releasing via Epic Games, Epic Games Store, but it may be a little different. No, I'm not getting what I need. Now, as you guys can see, You don't have a key to cross. As you can see, I don't have a key to get across to cross yet. Okay? In the demo, in the demo, you will not have access um, beyond this bridge. Okay? You will your game will end there and they're in the process. These, I think, are hardened hornets. No, they're not. They're just regular whole hornets. Okay. Con. So, these guys are called the Hornets. Um, a lot of this game will have dealt with a lot of your enemies. The biggest bunch of enemies that you'll find a lot throughout the game is going to be a lot of spirits. Okay, that's how that's how the that's how the this game and the next game are gonna be. But you have to complete this game in order to play this game. This game, you need to play this game in order to play the second game. Second game, so if you happen to buy it, buy this game and then buy the second game. I'm talking about it now because because I'm because it will be released this year. But don't ask anything about the second game because I'm not going to give it to you. I'm just saying that there's going to be another game that corresponds with this game.
No. Now you guys will see some extra game. Now I'm going to be sending out some beta copies to to some YouTubers. YouTubers that you guys can kind of get the feeling of these are going to be YouTubers that might have an expansive um, gameplay. I will try to keep you guys up to date with developer vlogs through my Facebook page. Now, leveled up. As you guys can see, this is how the level up screen is going to look like. Okay, now Paige learns Fire, Ice, and Lightning 1. Mid finally learns Skill 1. Okay? Frill, Sid, and a couple Heal Herbs and 30 Pennies. Now that's kind of how things are going to level up. You guys can kind of figure out from here. I want to show you guys the other enemies before I do go but this is the but this is pretty much about it As you can see, some enemies will definitely sure def will definitely miss. As you can see, we're not dealing a whole lot of damage, but it does take a little bit. Okay, so those are the enemies that you guys will see throughout the gameplay. Um, if you guys want to get this game, the game will be officially will be releasing in February. But you guys can see extra gameplay through um, a few extra YouTubers. YouTubers. Other than that, that's pretty much about it. I'll also make it one Twitch streamer to do it. But you guys will just have to be on the lookout. So if you guys did enjoy this... Um, this, game, this little Christmas Planet gameplay... It, see, as you guys can see, it follows around the six crystals. And I'm going to tell you right now before I do end this, is that each crystal corresponds with something within the game. If you guys remember Final Fantasy 1 and you have to go collect those crystals, you will have to do that in this game as well. That's the only thing that I'm keeping similar to Final Fantasy in the respects of the first game. The second game... You guys will, I will explain that one when it gets closer to, um, you know, closer to release time. I'm hoping this game is released out by the end of February, early March, but I'm skeptical because I want to make sure that, you know, I might not be able to get this released via Epic Games, but if I do, I'm not sure we'll be able to get the game. It's going to be... The only reason why I'm releasing it through Epic Games right now is because I want to help their store grow a little bit. A little bit. Then after that, I will get it. Then I will release it for you. Um, then I will release it over via Steam as well. So you guys can have it over there. But it will be start with Epic Games first. So if you guys did enjoy, um, if you want to see a full... Gameplay of Crystal's Planet one after its full initial release. I will sure definitely do that, but it has to be once it's released. You will see some other people doing gameplay footage via YouTube as well, so you guys can catch them playing the game out there as well. These are going to be some more well-known, um, maybe some well-known RPG players, um, but it will definitely be. A treat for you guys to catch up and see these games see my game so if you guys did enjoy hit that like button if you want to see more if you want to see the rest of my videos hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you can always stay up to date with gaming Jesus rocks so guys in the next in the next video